The last day of every year marks the end of a chapter and a new start for many Nigerians. The Christian faithful for many years have developed a culture of thanksgiving for the journey so far and an opportunity to seek God's grace in the start of another year. The 31st of December sees many Nigerians run into church for service and to enter the next year in the church. This act for some assures them of God's guidance in the new year and a perfect way to begin the year in God's presence. Number one, we try to enter the new year with optimism, together. Optimism, enthusiasm, energy, fire, praise. That's the first thing we do say, wait a minute, we're ending together and we're entering together. So that's, you can do that at home, but again, you cannot replace the congregational uh, power, force, a joy of people coming together to end the year. And that's why I believe in the service. For everything that we do as human beings, we are told to be prepared. You know, you want to get into university, be prepared. You want to start a new job, be prepared. Because you don't know what the road uh, would look like. And it's the exact same thing. And so for Christians who mindfully partake of crossover service, it is the exact same thing. I believe in prayer. So I believe that committing your year unto God's hand and praying towards God's, or praying for God's blessings rather, for the coming year, I think, can impact your year. For some others, it has no relevance to how the new year will turn out, as they either believe God's presence can be sought at any time and any place. There's a purpose for the crossover service, and I think it is to connect with uh, God, with the divinity of God. Secondly, God cannot do everything for man. Does it affect the outcome of next year? Yes, it does, if you're able to follow it up with a plan. Obviously, with the power of positive thinking, you might see what you want to see. Doesn't mean that reality reflects the same thing as your vision. And if you believe in destiny, there's obviously a contradiction because you can't pray away what is going to happen to you, whether you like it or not. The COVID-19 pandemic has created a bit of controversy regarding being amongst other Christian faithful in church and the government's orders to limit gatherings. Depending on what a person's beliefs are, the crossover service may either mark the start of a successful year or is just another church service no different from the others.